Hi, hey boys and girls. Today we are going to work a little bit more in depth. We are going to work on how we understand a story or our comprehension of a story. I've got a passage here called Bobby Gets a Doggy, and we are going to read it, and then we're going to answer a few questions to see how well we understood the story. This story, like I said, is called Bobby Gets a Doggy. Bob, Bobby loves doggies. He loves big doggies and small doggies. He loves doggies that are soft and even doggies that aren't so soft. Bobby loves all doggies, except for mean doggies that bite people, because really, nobody likes mean doggies that bite people. But Bobby doesn't have his own doggy. He can only look at other people's doggies and wish he had one for himself. And sometimes at night, after his parents tuck him into bed and turn off the light, he sighs and thinks to himself about how badly he wants one. Bobby is a good little boy. He doesn't complain and he never whines about how he doesn't have a doggy. But Bobby's mom and dad know how happy a doggy would make him. One day, Bobby's parents drive over to the pet store and look at all the different doggies for sale. All the doggies are small and young. They are puppies. One puppy has fuzzy white hair with a brown patch over its eye and floppy ears. Another has tall pointy ears and a coat of hair that is red and black. Another still has long, wispy hair that is all white. Bobby's parents look at each other, look at each of the puppies. They pick them up and pet them and let them lick their faces. There is one puppy that they haven't seen, though. This puppy has gray hair with some white in it and, a little, black eye, and, and little black eyes. It is in the corner of the puppy's pen with its head down, and it's looking out at Bobby's parents with a cute little look on its face. What's that puppy, puppy's name? Bobby's father asked. That puppy's name is Lucy, says the pet store man. Bobby's father picks up Lucy. She is very soft and very, very nice. Bobby's father and mother know that this is a dog for Bobby. They pay for her and take her home, take her home with them and hide her in the bathroom. Bobby comes home from school, takes off his backpack and sits down on the couch in the living room. Bobby, his mother says, how was your day at school? Oh, it was fine, he says. But Bobby's mother knows that he is secretly wishing he had a doggy. Bobby's dad quietly opens the bathroom door and scoops Lucy into his arms. He sneaks up behind Bobby very quietly lowers and lowers Lucy onto his lap. Bobby yelps with joy. What is her name? He asks his parents. Her name is Lucy, they say, and she is all yours. And that's how Bobby met, meets his best friend. Now that we've read the story, we're going to see how well we understood it. We're going to answer some comprehension questions about Bobby gets a doggy. The first question is, what does Bobby love? A, kitties, B, doggies, C, snakes. If we didn't know the answer, what could we do? That's right. We could go back and look in the text and see what Bobby loves. But we know just from the title that Bobby loves doggies. <coughs> when do Pop Bobby's parents give him a doggy? A, at the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story, or at the end of the story? That's right, at the end of the story. Question three, Bobby loves doggies that are soft. The doggy that Bobby's parents give him is soft. What can be concluded from this information? Hmm. Is there a word in that sentence that you do, or that question that you do not understand? Yeah, concluded. That's a tough word. What do you think that means? Concluded means what can you draw from it? What can you understand or what happened from that sentence? What do you think that means? What can we conclude that means? So let's read the sentence again. Bobby loves doggies that are soft. The doggy that Bobby's parents gives him is soft. So we can conclude what? Bobby will forgive, forget to feed the doggy that his parents give him. Bobby will not like the doggy that his parents give him. Or Bobby will love the doggy that his parents give him. Right. Bobby's parents give him a soft dog and he loves soft dogs, so he will love the doggy that his parents give him. So the correct answer would be C.
What is the main idea of this story? Hmm. What does main idea mean? What does main idea mean? Hmm. What is the story mostly about? A boy gets mad at his parents because he does not have a dog. A good boy who loves dogs and is given a dog. Or a bad boy who hates dogs and giving a cat. Right, the main idea of the story is a good boy who loves dogs and is given a dog. Our last question is, read the sentence from the passage. Bobby loves all doggies except for mean doggies that bite people. Because really, nobody likes mean doggies that bite people. What does the word doggies mean? Right, dogs. Boys and girls, great job. Next time, I want you to go to storylineonline.com and see if you can have your parents or someone with you ask some questions over a story that you might have already heard.